It's not a concern. I, I think obviously, you know, I can play defense. I know I can play defense. Um, I just have to show it. Um, I think in Europe, I, I got a lot better at defense. And, um, and it's, you know, obviously, there's going to be guys that I'm going to have tough times with, but I know I can. I, I'm a very good defender, and, I, and obviously, I, I can show it. How important is training camp for you, and what do you look to get out of the first week, two weeks? Is there, you know, a time schedule that you have in your own mind, or what? Um, just playing with the guys. Obviously, getting to know the guys, uh, getting to know how they play. Being a point guard, I, I get to know where, how I can put my guys in the right position to score and make it easier for them. And uh, obviously, just to get on the court. Uh, you know, I haven't played in the NBA before, so it's going to be exciting just to see, you know, the new things and uh, obviously to get repetitions uh, on the court. And, um, and go from there. Nick, what's going to be the biggest challenge for you moving forward here? You know, is it creating your own shot? Is it uh, the speed of the game? Is it the transition? Is it um, coming over you from know, the international game? Maybe coming over from the international game, but, you know, I've always played. Uh, I've always played over there in an American-style system. So, uh, obviously, just getting back into the, the American-style game and, uh, and knowing the right spots. Uh, you know, over there, it was, you know, packed in, like I said, but, you know, I got to be able to make the right plays, and uh, I'll, I'll know that within the training camp and things like that and get better at it. And the NBA is developing more of what FIBA's trying to do. It, it seems like the NBA is trending more as we move forward to an international game. I, I, I think so, too. I think a lot more pick and roll. I think uh, a lot of teams now will be running pick and roll, and uh, for me, that's, that's my main thing that I like to do, uh, obviously. Mike Conley as well. I think point guards, I think you can create a lot more of a pick and roll rather than a, you know, isolation game. Um, so it's, I think the, obviously the European game is different, but also it fits some in the NBA, like with the pick and roll style and things like that. Is there anybody over here that you would say that you're similar to anybody in the NBA right now? Um, you know, I kind of like how Grease Vasquez plays. I think uh, he's a good fit because I think he rebounds, assists, and scores. And uh, I think, you know, I've always been able to fill the stat sheet up and do all the do all the things, not just one, be good at one thing. And, uh, you know, so I think, you know, he's a good fit. You know, I like, I like watching a lot of players. I like trying to fit my game, obviously. You know, Steve Nash is one. I'm not saying I'm Steve Nash, but I'm saying, you know, I like to watch him, see what he does, you know, how he plays as a point guard. How long have you been in Memphis? I've been in Memphis for two and a half weeks. Okay, how, how's it? How's it uh, it's, I mean, it's a totally different place, obviously, no, than where you've been the last few years. So, you know, how have you translated to living here? It's, it's great. It's uh, Obviously, they love basketball. And, you know, everywhere you go, you'll see Memphis Grizzlies or Tigers. So it's it's great to see the town that's so supportive with the team. And um, and obviously, I like the I like the city. The food's great. Barbecue is unbelievable. So hopefully, you know, it, it keeps going around. Are you staying at the Westin? I'm staying at, no, I, I moved into my place yesterday. I've been staying at the Westin though, so it's been, you know, I still got to figure out my way around, but I, I moved into a Germantown, a condo in Germantown, so, you know, my family is set and everything will be good. So when you, Dallas has your rights. What's your feeling? As you're watching this unfold, what's your, what was your feeling? I mean, it was, you know, did you know you wanted to come play in the NBA this year? I, your, I wanted to come. I knew if it was a, if the timing was the right, I think this was the time. And, uh, you know, I had a great year overseas, and I thought, um, I thought this was the time if I was going to make the jump. And I told my agent, I said, get me, get me back over and see if, you know, the teams are interested in. And uh, I, at Dallas, obviously, they drafted, you know, some point guards. They picked up, called their own, they did a lot of things. So, obviously, they, they didn't have really an interest in me. So, you know, I told my agent to call around, and, uh, you know, Memphis here. Did you know about the trade? You, you knew that might be. Yeah. I knew it could. I knew it could for sure be a spot because I knew they were looking for a point guard, and, uh, and I knew I didn't I knew last year they, they needed a little bit of help in the backcourt. So it was uh, it was a good fit. And when I, when I heard I got traded to them, I thought it would be a good opportunity, and I felt like they were going to bring me back over. So what? Um, do you know Mike Rock? Do you know Mike at all? Just Mike so Miller or Mike Conley? Mike I've known him for this two and a half weeks. And <laughs> he's, he's a great guy, unbelievable guy, uh, a guy that I can learn a lot from and watch him play. And uh, I think I'll be able to, to, to help him, you know, sometimes, you know, maybe me bring up the ball and let him uh, play the two some if the coach sees that, um, just to give him a break off the dribbling and, 
and I feel like I can help him a lot with, you know. So do you, do you feel like um, that the time, are you a much better player than you were before? I think so. Four years of professional basketball at the highest level in Europe, I think it's, it's really helped me. Obviously, I've, I've played a lot of basketball in those four years, so I think I've got a lot better, and I think I've added stuff to my game. What Guys have come across and made the transition from Europe, obviously. Do you look at some of them and say, Against him, I did it. I, I've played against a lot of these guys. Obviously, I've, I've played my, against Mike in AAU before, and I've played against uh, I've played against a lot of the guys. Obviously, the McDonald's All American game. Um, so I'm used to you know Karolinko. I played against him overseas. So it's I'm not worried about who I'm going against. To be honest, I just uh, hopefully just you know it's all a great opportunity and uh, you know show what I can do. Biggest adjustment from what you see, you know, what you know from your game in Europe. What you think you're going to have to really adjust to get for this game? Um, probably making the right plays. You know, the guys are more athletic here, so you know some passes might not be open that were open in Europe that won't be open here. So uh, you know, reading the game like that, and um, obviously, you know, there's a lot of open area, one on one and stuff like that. So I got to be able to defend, and uh, I think my defense has gotten a lot better. And obviously, you just got to keep on improving. Do you have an explanation? Your shooting obviously was terrific in Florida. Yeah, um, you know, I don't know. It's, uh, I think it was, it was kind of a in my head thing, but um, I think I'm, a, I've, I've been working on my shot a lot this summer and uh, being able to shoot from NBA three, and I think I've, I've gotten a lot better at that. And uh, I hope it won't be as bad. Obviously, you know, it, it's, I, I shot the ball very bad over there, and uh, I believe I'm missing a lot better shooting. Is there been part of you? I mean, I know you've been a pro, but you are still going to step on an NBA court for the first time. Is there a part of you that's like fun? Like, I mean, you postponed the dream. Yeah, uh, no, I'm excited. I can't wait. Uh, obviously, me putting on the jersey the first time today was uh, was great. And obviously, you know, I'm here. I'm here now. So now I got to show that, that I can play at this level and I can play with the best in the world. What Does about it feel like knowing that it's a team that accomplished some things last year? I mean, it, that's a, it is. And it, lucky to in this spot. It's, it's, it's a great, it's a great, uh, great opportunity for me. And uh, I hope I can help the team any way possible to get to that next level. Obviously, they can. Competed, almost competed for a, a title, NBA title. So uh, they, you know, I hope that I can, you know, help and hopefully we can get there this year. What you aware of the? I'm sorry, I'll ask. I'll finish. Okay. Okay. Are you aware of the? Um, I mean, this, this franchise has had a had one backup point guard after another for like three or four. Yeah. It is the perennial question for this franchise: Who the hell is going to be the backup one point guard? Are you the answer? Uh, I hope so. I hope I can fit that role. Um, and you know, and be that guy. Um, that's that's sort of one of the reasons I came here for, and hopefully I can you know I can build on it. What about the, What does it say to you in your confidence that the team had confidence enough to let go a guy that they had drafted uh, highly uh, with their only draft pick at the point guard spot to bring you in and, and have you run this position? Um, I believe it's a it's a it's a great thing, obviously, to know that the the, the bosses are behind me. Um, obviously, you know, I have a lot to prove, and uh, I came in here. Uh, Expecting that, and hopefully I can help the team. Hopefully I can uh, do the things that the team wants me to do to to get to that next level and to make them better. And uh, I'm excited. I'm excited for the opportunity, and uh, I think it'll be a, a good year. To that excitement, uh, you tweeted that you're at Memphis Bound when you found out how. Give us that moment when I say, "Look, hey, we want you." And it was it was great. It was obviously one of my dreams since I was little. Uh, obviously, I'm from the states, so you know, playing in the NBA is obviously a dream come true. And uh, once I found that out, you know, obviously that night it was a, it was the best feeling in the world. And then uh, the next day, now I'm back in the gym. I gotta keep working, and uh, and now to prove myself and, and let me stay here. Mm -hmm. so um, you, how do you feel about the nickname Wiz Khalifa? I like it. I like it. It's it's you know it's a, it's a cool nickname. Uh, why not? Uh, it's you know it's it's cool. I like it. You're gonna get put any black and yellow in your socks or something? <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. I probably not. I'll probably just be you know with the white socks. But uh, no, it's it's it's, it's exciting. Uh, I'm excited for to be able to step on the court and the fans are great here. So uh, I'm looking forward to being in the arena and, and playing in front of them. Can you say I'm glad to be in Memphis in Greek? You know any Greek you can speak? I can't. I can't say in Greek. Now, I wish. I wish. I know it's Greek <laughs> for sure. But I, I'll learn. I'll learn that and I'll get back to you with it. For sure. <laughs> okay. uh, I appreciate it, man. Nick, nice would you say you're uh, 
Would you say, are you a, are you a tape junkie? Have you kind of studied? I don't know. There's nothing like getting out on yeah. the court with the guys and For actually sure. playing with them. But are, are you already familiarizing yourself with some of the tendencies where guys like to get the ball? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's, it's like you said, it's obviously it's, it's going to be different when you play on the court with them. But, you know, I've watched these guys. I know a lot of them. Um, I've watched them for years. And, uh I, I know what they can do. Um, I know as a point guard, I got to find them in the right position and get them a, a better opportunity to score, obviously. And uh, I, I'm excited to. I'm excited. There's a whole. There's a lot of talent on this team, and as a point guard, you love to play with these kind of guys, you know. And uh, I'm excited uh, to be on the court with them.